There he is. The most incredible little dog I've ever when I first found out about Chance, I was sent a video of him. Uh, without even knowing anything, I said, I, I want to take this baby, I'll pay for everything, send him to me. I see it as my calling to go and seek those dogs out, the ones that are not being surrendered because the owners don't even care enough to surrender them. He peed on the rug and they kicked him in the neck and broke it. And when I discovered he was in Iran, I realized how tremendous of an obstacle this would be. Oh, 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 oh. And here he is. Nothing says America like a puppuccino. And they have for his double surgery, and he's already trying to get up. It's a lot of sleepless nights and worry about these dogs. Sometimes I want to quit and I think like, God, I have a law degree. I should go be a lawyer. But when I think about what would happen to these dogs if I wasn't doing this, I just, I can't turn my back. On my way to pick up Chance from the hospital, I made a little detour and picked up this little cutie badooty. I'm kind of like a one person band. Um, <laughs> I go rescue the dog. I rehabilitate them. I take them to the vet. Tell me how you really feel about going to the vet. And once they're fully ready, I rehome them. <laughs> and thank God for like Instagram and you know Facebook. I can keep up with the dog. I see them at the beach. I see them enjoying their life. It makes me tear up. It makes me super, super happy that after everything they've gone through, that they go on to live these happy, happy lives. <laughs>